welcome back to all about the popcorn i am doing two back-to-back -to -back videos today if you missed my last one i'll be linking it up here if you guys are new my name is stephanie today i'm gonna be doing my first prime review and it is for the boys and um it's actually going to be more of a little recap because it has been out for a minute now i'm just kind of behind on everything i literally actually just finished watching this show I'm supposed to be doing other netflix reviews but i really love this show but let me go ahead and get like my little facts situated first so the boys it first aired on prime july 26 it is eight episodes long they are about an hour long and it's a very large cast i normally just kind of do like the main ones they're all important ultimately the ones that are considered the boys uh would be huey uh mother's milk frenchie and uh, billy butcher and then the seven would be uh the homelander queen mob the deep a train uh black noir and annie january just think of them as the avengers or as um the justice league it's the same thing they all kind of had like the little group and then they're just called the seven and they are run by a company called vault which um is actually run by madeline i actually after i watched the show i ended up kind of just within the last week i started wondering what the comic book kind of was about so i kind of looked it up and i didn't go full into a lot into into it when i looked up but i think i pretty much got a little bit of like hints here and there of the differences which is a lot in comic books it's way more like pornographic <laughs> and graphic uh we got some characters in the comic book that were not in the show which i'm kind of glad but at the same time i kind of w would have wanted them to be there just because i think it would have been like so weird and like twisted and just kind of added that like a little extra something and like if i'm not mistaken seth rogan is involved with the boys um so the fact that he didn't put um i don't remember their name but there is one that's actually like a sex addict and literally like wants to like screw like literally everything like a freaking meteor that he's like oh i'm gonna save the world and it's like there's like a hole in there he's like if there's a hole i could fuck it and like goes and like that's how he's gonna like save the world i mean that was like another deal i mean that was kind of like part of his imagination because some other situations happen but i mean just the fact to have seen that and have seen him go up there and like screw this meteor he would have literally saved the world by screwing this meteor yeah we're, we're, let's go back to the show in between from what i did get from the comics uh from what i did um uh, see um i'll incorporate it into the rest of the review so this one may be a tit bit longer i did not actually read the comic book i actually just went here on youtube somebody who was breaking down each um episode it was he did it really really good and i actually got a lot of info um i'm actually going to, i'll link him down below so the show does start off with a uh, huey working at this like um tech store he did um uh, look like simon Pegg, which was you know his dad in the show uh, they actually did uh, make huey look like him so i did like how they did incorporate um incorporate if i can say it simon Pegg in the show uh seeing that the uh, one of the main characters was based upon well not what based upon him but as far as like the way he looked and um the girlfriend comes and uh you know they're about to go have like lunch and they're just talking about their future and everything and she's literally like one step off the side of the road like i said early on this will be spoiler talk i did say there's gonna be spoiler talk right well there's spoiler talk <laughs> you get a train uh which is the flash basically it's like another version of the flash and he literally like just runs straight through her and she just explodes and huey doesn't even like doesn't know what's happening because i mean he's so fast it happens so quick you blink you missed it and all you see is just all the blood just kind of like going all over so i think the mind's still trying to process really what happened atrin is all like oh i'm sorry i'm sorry i can't stop you know i gotta go and i like, just takes off running um he ends up saying that there's some sort of like bank robbery or something happening that was a lie this is how we get introduced to one of the superheroes and into huey now i'm gonna go ahead and just kind of stop real quick there and i'm just gonna talk about the superheroes really quickly um these superheroes are not your typical superheroes at all you guys like you know this is i actually like these superheroes a little bit better to be honest because they're not like goody two shoes they're not like oh my god right about citizens and we gotta save everybody not killing them but these are like 
asshole people. Vault has all the pretty much all the rights to them. They have merch, they have movies, they have TV shows. You know, well, one of them is leaving and then we enter Starlight. Really is trying to do this for the right reasons and really wants to be a superhero. She doesn't know that her dream job is going to be like the worst thing that's ever happened to her. You know, she thought that she was gonna be saving people just to save them, but no, like even to save people, it has to be on your schedule. They're not about that life of let me capture you and take you off to jail. No, they're like, okay, we don't got time for this. We're gonna shoot you, we're gonna kill you. We're just gonna like, you're, that's it. I ain't got time to try to like cuff you and put you in jail because they, as far as I remember, <laughs> all of them, they all killed everybody. They never like, just injured somebody as far as i can recall no they like all the bad guys even those innocent bystanders well when starlight ends up uh, joining the seven and finally gets there of course is um kind of greeted or more so trying to give the tour by the deep and you know she ends up telling him you know how she actually had him um as far as posters on her wall because everybody always has homelander because he's like like the Superman, Captain America, because I feel like he's kind of like a mixture of both. Nobody really ever has a deep because who cares about like Aquaman? You know, that's basically who he is. And next thing you know, when she um, ends up turning around, ends up seeing a deep, she's all like, wait, what's happening? And it's like, well, are we not gonna do this? Like you just said, it's like, no, put your pants back on. But she ultimately ends up doing it. So enter comic book scene here. But it was actually Homelander, the one that suggested the blow job. Um, but when she was done or in the midst of blowing him, enter Black Noir and A-Train. And guess what? Not only had to give Homelander a blow job, but these other two assholes as well. So actually in the comic book the deep did not get one so let's go ahead and uh kind of leave them and let's go back to um huey um so billy ends up approaching huey about what happened to the girlfriend and like was telling him about all these situations um that the soups are not good people the uh huey was a little hesitant at first about um you know join joining the team uh which again we're gonna go ahead and incorporate the comic book back in here in the comic book the whole team with frenchie and mother's milk they were um still a group because i know in the show they did show them that they were once but you know of course you know that situation happened and they kind of like separated from then in the show they didn't know what compound v was and in the comic book they did know what milk was actually the whole little like the boys team they were all injecting themselves with the compound v because kind of like you have to kind of fight fire with fire which kind of makes sense and i kind of i think i would have liked that better in the show um they do end up injecting no they don't end up injecting huey that happened in the comic book so we do end up finding later on in the show that these soups were actually not you know god created but you know lab created basically well not necessarily lab created but they were basically injecting uh babies with this compound v uh but you know i honestly thought that they were just doing it like randomly picking like kids to make them soups but no they actually uh would get the parents permission i mean that's what i got i don't know if they they would ask all the parents i am assuming they would because they did ask uh starlight's uh mom yeah. trying to actually get be part of the uh, military trying to kind of prove they're worthy of being able to be able to handle bigger situations and bigger problems and of course they're trying to pass this law to let superheroes uh be able to go in and protect um, there was this incident where there was this plane that was hijacked media hadn't known about it they let um a vault know and madeline ends up sending a uh, queen mob and queen mob which is kind of like the wonder woman and homelander to go to this plane to go in like you know take out these terrorists and save all the civilians well, they get up there, they kill all the terrorists, you know, again, instead of knocking them down because they are up in the air and freaking Homelander has like laser beam eyeballs. Uh, but, you know, end up killing all the people that are in the actual plane, but they didn't realize there was one still in the cockpit. They go and the guy actually ends up killing uh, the co-pilot and then Homelander ends up uh, killing terrorists. Okay, okay, hold on. Okay, so it's been a minute 
It has it's been like two weeks, you guys, but I kind of forgot. I think when they came in, the terrorist killed the co-pilot. And when they were telling him, you know, kind of like calm down, he ended up getting the pilot, which and then made Homelander like laser beam the guy to kill him. Of course, made uh, him, you know, damage the control panel of the plane. Um, so now the plane is going down with all these like civilians. You know, he's of course giving all these reasons why he can't do it. And then he, Queen Mob is like, well, just take like the passengers, like, you know, like one by one or two by two and like go and like, take them to like land and he's all like he's like come on like be realistic there's like how many hundred people in this plane like there's no way that i'm gonna be able to like do that i wonder he's just an asshole he's all like like we gotta go he's just like walking smiling to everybody with this little creepy kind of like smile but it's still like a good smile and it's like we're gonna be okay go ahead you know sit down sit down it's fine it's fine you know ends up getting like this mom and daughter and it's like please just dumb just get dumb and homeowner's like no like don't be stupid because you know, if I just save them, they're gonna tell everybody what happened here. Like, there's no way. Like, fly out the, the thing and then they'll, they'll let all those people die. That's the type of, of superheroes that we have here. Let's go ahead and kind of jump back to the boys. In the bed, it's a abandoned house and they end up finding this Asian girl, like, locked up, chained up, um, in, you know, like, this little cage. And they end up, uh, Frenchie, of course, ends up being the one that freezer well actually in the comic book she was already kind of part of the boys situation she was never caged up that whole cage scene never happened so we're gonna go ahead and just kind of like jump a little bit forward and we're just gonna gonna go to where the more exciting things happen the whole reason that uh, billy butcher is doing all this is because of his wife his wife ended up uh, disappearing about eight years ago actually wait was it eight or six i think it's actually six years so uh, right before though that she did disappear we ended up finding out that um the wife was actually with homelander uh they were seeing that you know homelander raped her once homelander it's up finding now yeah remembering who he was who the wife was was kind of putting all the pieces together and he then started asking questions now him and madeline kind of have like this really weird like relationship and of course you know he has like that um, jealousy towards her baby and i honestly you guys since i first encounter with him and the baby i was like you're gonna kill that baby at some point or another you are going to kill that kid i honestly i was like that kid's not gonna make it through the season let me know in the comment section below if you guys thought the baby was gonna make it he then went and talked to madeline which then kind of brought her brought him to go to this other man's house and got some information from him and uh, kind of told him that, you know, she actually ended up being pregnant. And of course, this was a shocker for Homeland because it was like, I didn't even think I could have kids. Kind of like the pregnancy happened really quickly. She went into labor very quickly and that the kid basically like crawled its way out into the world. So basically killed the mom and ultimately, you know, the baby died. So that's the story that the guy, that man gave him. Then I'm coming back to Madeline and was like, please no more lies. Um, she's like, no, of course not. And he kind of asked about, you know, the, the wife, Billy's wife, gave him a different story and was like, it's just so sad that she had a miscarriage. So, you know, of course the stories, you know, didn't obviously align, which is kind of like, are you kidding me? Like if you're going to give a story, you know, if you're gonna lie, at least give the, thing about you know the kid crawling out and like dying like come on like in the meantime um billy was trying to figure out what homelander's um weakness was somebody does end up telling them that you know he does tend to fancy madeline a lot of course um you know billy ends up ambushing her at the house homelander ends up you know coming to the house ends up coming down but ends up going through like the nursery and grabs the baby and this is where i was like that baby was like let make it oh. so they're trying to figure out like everything's going on with the wife and it's like you know we're both like kind of like in the dark but i got all the information and you know you're trying to use her as you know my weakness or whatever he ends up telling her you know looking her in the eyes and it was just like I trusted you kind of deal and you lied to me yet again you know your story's just just about match but they didn't you know and i went back talked to him and he told me everything and then boom like lasers through her eyes so then she's dead billy had actually put like a bomb on uh, madeline butcher's just like fuck it he let like, goes of the uh the trigger finger you know so the house can explode um mind you homelander is very you know he flies and he's pretty fat and he's very fast um so ends up um 
you know, saving his life. He ends up waking up on this lawn and was like, hey, you know, you're gonna love, you're gonna thank me for this, you're gonna love, you know, you're gonna love this kind of deal. And gets up and you see this little blonde little kid coming up and then you see the wife coming. Um, so the wife is very much alive. So that's pretty much just how the, the boys ends is finding out that the wife is in fact still alive but you know was uh, hiding in secrecy. Uh, Black Noir though, um, let me kind of just kind of circle back to him really quickly. Um, oh, that transparent guy, he wasn't even part of the comic books. They kind of incorporated him in this. Uh, but Black Noir, in the comics, what they say is that he's actually um homelander's twin homelander is technically you know the most um like the strongest superhero that there is that you know in case it ever came down to they need to make another soup to be able to take him out that'd be kind of cool if they do end up incorporating that like maybe in season two or you know future seasons if we do get more than season one i mean overall i really really enjoyed the series it's really really good i love all the uh, characters that are on here i love how they're superhero slash kind of like little mini vi villains in a way um I mean, I guess not necessarily villains, they're just human. Oh, there is actually this one thing in the comics that I kind of did wish also was in the show, uh, which the boys actually end up going to Russia because where uh, Compound V is uh, made. And even like have known about Compound V, I think I would have been really cool. And even though have been injecting themselves with Compound V just because there would have been like mini soups as well because even Huey ends up having like super strength. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it with that. Um, I think that's going to be it for my review recap like mini comparison with the comic books because i don't know much about it but what i did learn i kind of want to uh, incorporate and share with you guys and uh, before you guys click out of this video please don't forget to give it a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified each time that i post something new and until next time i'll be seeing you guys at concessions bye